since I was a little girl, I want to be an nurse because I care a lot of people. I'm not scared of anything. I like to help people so that they heal. I'm doing home-based care. I'm doing screening. I'm doing prom health promotion. Give health education about lifestyle, about good habits. I give them their medicine on the point. Everything I do as a community health worker. I'm working here alone. I am the only one CHW here within this community. They, some, they call me a nurse. Even I'm not a nurse, I'm not a qualified nurse. But the things that I'm doing for them, they appreciate a lot. Everything is all is above our our shoulders. Cause someone who's raped come to me. Tell me, someone who's beaten by the husband, tell me. And Sinani, it's our mercy. Sinani is helping us a lot to give up, up this stress we are, we are getting from the community. I, I think the most important one is to, yeah, to, to be there for them with the departments. This, this kind of support they don't get in terms of, of, of self-care, uh, also with, with debriefing. So as NGOs, that's where we come in and also create that platform for them to be able to talk, come together, sharing their ideas and how are they going to overcome those kind of challenges. The healthcare system in South Africa, it cannot function without CHWs because they, we work as a link between communities and the state um, institutions like your clinics, your hospitals, nurses, professional nurses in the, in the institutions, they do not go to the households and see what is happening there. But the CHWs, they are there. The struggle of CHWs is very big in South Africa. Uh, it starts with the non-recognition of community health care workers as workers. And it, it also goes beyond that. It starts from them going to the households doing their work without proper and, 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 and good um, working conditions. They go out there without any provision of occupational health and safety. The money that are, are, are getting paid is so little so that they cannot even survive from it. In the Medico International have been working with several NGO partners in South Africa for many years and through their work with these partners they identified certain common themes, particularly around the well-being of community health workers and they then brought together these five NGO partners in South Africa to explore this idea of is there a common theme that we could work on collectively as a networking an advocacy project, which was quite a new initiative for many people. You are at uh, House of Movement 123 Preacher Street. Uh, it's an office of the Gauteng Community Workers Forum. Uh, we're based in Gauteng, so we started this in 2012. Gauteng Community Workers Forum is an organization where it's run by um, the carers themselves who are actually doing the work. So going clinic by clinic, uh, making people aware of their rights and everything, that's how we were able to organize the forum. In the organization, we've decided that we need some activities that we're going to give a, a momentum to the struggle and also pushes the department to give us answers in, in due course that we are needing them, which is why we are having this many campaigns. Social change processes, yeah, in a country like South Africa, where you have the, the destruction, the damage is done in hundreds of years, 
it's nothing in which will happen in three years or four years or five years. Social movement building, that's a long process. And as Medico, we try and actually still organize the support in a way that the growth of a movement can happen organically. But when it comes to resources, yes, it's a responsibility to redistribute resources, I think. And maybe that's the best position you can have as a as a German organization and person in a struggle like this.